When I told my mother I was going to be a priest, I got a shock because she, she screamed, she fainted. I couldn't believe it. And uh, in a way, that's turned out to be a little bit of a gift throughout my life. Uh, because um, I think in becoming a priest, you've, you've a lot of things to deal with. Uh, we're wondering, wondering whether I have a vocation or whether I haven't. And if you've also got to worry about whether it's your mother's vocation or not, that adds a lot more. And I'm glad I never had to worry about that. <laughs> well, just a little bit empty, you know. <laughs> because he creates a void always. Saying goodbye to the family is always difficult. And uh, leaving home and leaving Ireland. Uh, but um, my feelings are ambivalent, really, because uh, I'm leaving home and I'm going home also. Because for me, the Philippines has become home from home. I'm afraid I'm being given frogs for my breakfast, but they're very delicious. We, uh, hmm. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. What I was trying to bring across to them, and which I think they have understood even better than I have, that the, their basic uh, religious intuition should be to try and uh, give to, to serve other people in justice on the basis that justice is the minimum of, lo of love. You can't really start loving till you're first of all being just. And in such a situation as ours, where the greatest crime definitely is injustice, this becomes a sort of special vocation for them. Basically, we want people to make their own decisions of what they'll do about their political life. If they want to bring down the system, that'll be their decisions. What we want are people to become human beings in which they take their own lives into their hands. And we start in very, very small ways, just in the very small area of church. Like not dictating to them all the things that they do in living in a parish. Letting them make the decisions for their own life. And we'd like that idea to spread to all areas. Now they then will be the ones to decide whether they would like uh, the idea of a long gradual change or whether they want a sharp, short, convulsive change. That's their decision, not mine. And as a um, I, I wouldn't want to, to interfere in that sense, you know, but I would like to prepare people to make, to be able to make those sort of decisions themselves, to take part in the, the decisions which change their society. With uh, a little outside help, with encouragement, and with the keeping the vision alive of what we're trying to do, I think we could make serious inroads into the present system of injustice in Negros. I don't think I myself could carry on without a, some hope in the middle of such terrible suffering which one sees.
basically, among the Malay population, there is um, a deep equality. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's reflected in the language. There's only one word for he and she, there's only one word for brother and sister, and in Tagalog, there's only one word for husband and wife. It's lovely, really. It's a great gentleness in the culture, and uh, something, I suppose, uh, that's um, different from the West.